I lead a very sort of static, quiet life here. Then suddenly, <laughs> suddenly the phone will ring and it's like, oh, you're doing Hyde Park and it's sold out or, you know, <laughs> Graham's made you a new record and then it's, it's like getting dragged off by a, an ex-girlfriend and, and, and all mussed up and, <laughs> and then spat back into my, my life again when it's all over, just going, Oof, what was that? We were uh, a bubble, a four-person bubble, you know, taking ourselves somewhere with these sessions. And, and I suppose we'd forgot that when we go home, we all go <laughs> into all these different <laughs> professional domestic situations and geographical situations. Uh, Damon made a good uh, analogy. It's, it's like um, if you leave the washing up for a, for a day, you start like dreading it. And if you leave it for a few days, you don't want to go back in the kitchen at all, do you? Six months went by, <laughs> nothing had happened. And then another six months went by and nothing had happened. And then another six months went by and nothing had happened. And then I remembered that I had a camera with me in the studio. And uh, I thought, oh, I'll watch those films. And, and they, even though it was a rubbish microphone on the camera, you could, you could just, you could hear it, it you, you could feel it. I'd wake up with, like, New World Tower in my head. That one really haunted me for some reason. horrible knowing that we'd done something that was really good that didn't look like it was gonna see the light of day and I poured myself a huge glass of wine and just watched them all and just thought pour myself another big glass of wine watched them all again and just thought what a shame mm -hmm. 